keep it secret, to different bills Hey, don't go dim me, you need it, I got it listed, yeah You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it, yeah I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done, yeah I'm from the finish to making bills like a prospect Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat You keep the medals cause the real ones coming up next Only scratch the surface, still they try to drag my name in dirt They try to bring me down, see me win, you ain't like me Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi. And today I have another special banger for you, right? Now listen, before we get too far in this video, you know exactly what you need to do. Make sure you drop a like, and let's get this video to at least 1,000 likes. That would definitely push the video to the recommended. And furthermore, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe. I'm by far the hardest working YouTuber in the 2K community, and hope you appreciate the 9 a.m. and the 5 p.m daily double uploads and you can show that appreciation by dropping a like and subscribing right now let's get straight into this video so today my nephews and nieces what we're looking at is the inside out facilitator again this is going to be extraordinarily rare actually i have not seen this build at all in the park now the thing that gets me is that a lot of these rare builds are 100 playable meaning like you can literally play these builds and not even miss a beat like you can compete with these meta builds and this is definitely one of them so if you're somebody that's looking for a very a very rare build that can play like a meta this is definitely going to be one of them um you do want to go shooting guard it doesn't matter if you're right or left-handed we're going with the hall of fame shooting and the hall of fame finishing so that's another plus you get the hall of fame badges with these and then we're going to go pure speed <clears throat> as you know as a primary ball handler especially when you have green in your pie chart you do want to try to be as fast as you possibly can to help with that quickness and acceleration so we do want to go here and then what we're going to do here is this we're going to go 89 on a close shot we're going to max out that driving layup and we're going to max out that driving dunk then we're going to go 44 for 13 finishing batches okay pretty good there then we're going to go 80 okay just 80 on the mid-range shot we're going to max out that three-point shot and then we're also going to max out that um free throw for 17 shooting and then you know playmaking is the most important so you have to get as many playmaking bats as possible so you do need to max out everything in your playmaking to do that then we're going to max out the perimeter the lateral quickness and steals and then we're going to go ahead and max out the defensive rebound and then just put that one on the block or offensive rebound doesn't matter <clears throat> but the thing is is that you're looking at 13 17 16 and 6 okay so really good bad stack here if you do want to get more um defense maybe get a little bit more then what i would recommend is just going ahead and do something like this and drop it all the way down to get to seven but that's the best bet that's the best i would do right i wouldn't go any higher than that and so now instead of having 16 and in, instead of being 16 and 6 it's 14 to 7 to me i didn't think that was much of a difference to do so that's why i didn't do that so that's why you see me going here and then maxing out everything out here okay so but that's another way you can do it if you want to get extra defensive all right 13 17 16 and 6 is really solid then on the body type you want to go built because we are going to drop that weight a little bit you do want to go 6 5 drop um, i'm sorry not built defined go 6 5 go to 194 pounds don't go any lower than that because it changes the name all right so if you get if you're too athletic it changes your name all right and then on your wingspan you want to go just drop it down to was it uh one two three clicks the 78.8 okay so now let's talk about a few things here you do get a plus eight to your physicals you get a plus four from 95 to 99 overall <clears throat> and then you get the other plus four by doing either of these three things either a going to my career um you do want to play every single game until you become a starter once you become a starter you do want to sim out the rest of the regular season and play every single playoff game and of course win the championship that following season you will get the gym rat badge and then option b which i think is the best option is you want to go ahead and talk to the guy at the entrance of the gatorade facility he'll give you a quest he'll say hey just hit level 40 um in that season whatever season you're currently in and by doing that you will then be able to get the gym rat badge not only for that build but for every single build that you currently have made all right so that's always a good idea to do that and then of course c is where if you can't hit level 40 season c is probably the next specs option and that is just every seven days just go to the facility and do the workouts so what you're looking at here is a 92 speed with a 91 acceleration and a 79 vert 
We're not really stressing about that vert. We just want that 92 speed and that 91 acceleration. That's really going to help us out. And then on your finishing, shooting, playmaking, and defense slash rebound, you will get a plus four here. So the ones that really stand out here is that 80 driving dunk, which is going to allow you obviously to get a quick drop off one in the front clutches. Also the Clyde Drexler dunk package. And then of course, we with slashing takeover, you will get the contact dunks. And then on the shooting, you have an 86 mid-range and a ridiculous 87 three ball. So you're going to be able to shoot really, really, really well with this and at a high rate. And then your playmaking, you have a 82 um, pass accuracy with an 83 ball handle. So you will be able to get the elite dribble package animations, which is really dope. And then your defense will be a 78 perimeter, 77 lateral quickness. You still get an 82 steal, which I think is crazy, along with a 67 defensive rebound. So all in all, extremely solid build. Again, very offensive heavy. That can be a very, very dominant build in the park or in the rec, in the right hands. And I think it's also one of those builds that you can literally just plug and play, meaning like you can just make this build no matter what level you're at. If you're a very skilled player or a newer player to the community, I think this build will be really well because you can shoot and it can dunk. And it's not that much of a skill set that you'll need to be able to play really well. All right. Now, obviously, again, here, sharp and slasher takeover is what we want to go with. But to be able to unlock those contact dunks, obviously, I think we should go with the slashing takeover. And here you have it, my nephews and nieces. We have the extremely rare inside out facilitator build. All right. So now what we're going to do is this. We're going to test this build out real quick. We'll get the 99, go over a few badges, and then we'll get you out of here. So let's get these badges here. Boom. Um, the most important ones here is going to be posterizer and limitless takeoff. Those are the ones that you got to have at all times. These are like the tier A badges to get. And then for the next ones, I like to go fearless finisher, acrobat, and then slithery. All right. So that's just how I like to rock it. I think these are the most important. Okay. And then on your shooting, you want to go hot zone hunter hall of fame and sniper hall of fame. Those are the most important. Lucky seven on bronze. Then again, stop and pop or rhythm shooter, depending on how you are. It depends on which one you think is better. If you're a stop and pop or a rhythm shooter. And also, a few of y'all, if y'all don't even consider yourself ISO players and y'all, that's something that y'all don't do, then y'all don't have to equip them, okay? And then the next one, obviously, will be the blinders. Don't worry about mismatch expert because obviously you will not, you're, you're 6'5, so that's not much an advantage. But if you're not a stop and pop person, I'm um, dead eye on Hall of Fame's good. Um, even going dead eye on um, like gold and catch and shoot on bronze, there's a little bit of flexibility there you can play with. Playmaking, the most important, as we all know, is going to be handles for days. Quick first step, quick chain. I love getting unpluckable, and I love tight handles, okay? And then we just get that bell out. Now, if you're someone that's not looking to break ankles and you're not worrying about animations, then, of course, take the tight handles off and put on bullet passer and call it a day, all right? And then defensively, you have six. Um, to me, rebound chaser, rim protector, and chase down artists are important. And then with the last three, either go intimidator, um, clamps, or pick dodger just depending on where you're at and what you're playing obviously if you're in a twos court you definitely want to get pick dodger um if you're playing the threes and you're playing on ball pick dodger but if you're going to be playing off ball intimidator um interceptor will be the other great secondary badges on this for not playing on ball defense okay but there you have it my nephews and nieces this is the inside out facilitator build Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, just make sure you drop a like, you subscribe to the channel, and as usual, your favorite old head, Uncle Demi, I'll be back really, really soon with the banger, man. You know, when I say I'll be back soon with the banger, you know exactly what day I'm talking about. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out.